right, uh, Tyler Cogswell, you're a Florida dude, but uh, you got a little taste of, of Cincinnati High School football today, uh, playing in the pit at Elder. Yeah. Uh, how, how was it? it? It's a unique uh, atmosphere here. Yeah, it really is. We don't have anything like this. Uh, the bowl shape, we don't have anything like that in Florida, at least that I've seen. And it's really cool. It's interesting to see how many people uh, would really come here, even just for an outing like this. And then I've heard ever since I've been here that Ohio football gets full every every game. Yeah. Yeah, this place, it, when they when they pack it up, it, it, it kind of vibrates and all that. Yeah, I can imagine. Nippert's a good place for that, too. Oh, yeah, Nippert is. I love Nippert. Nothing compares to Nippert. Running out of the tunnel. All right, two grabs today. Uh, you, you're looking forward to more uh, throws to the tight end, I would assume, in this offense. Yeah, no, no doubt. Uh, all the tight ends so far have really been catching balls every day at practice. Uh, we've been consistent every day, and I think that's what really what they're looking for in us is to be consistent, catching the balls, no drops, and getting a field. Uh, the, the toughness that they've worked on, I mean, uh, yeah. he, he's kind of come in, Luke Pickles come in and preach the toughness. Mm -hmm. He sounds a lot like Mark Antonio, which is obviously a big influence. That's all Mark Antonio preached years yeah. and years ago. Uh, obviously, you guys feel tougher. You've done some pretty tough, crazy things in the offseason, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, we've done. We've, we've had to get tougher throughout. Uh, when they first came in, it was called. Uh, it was like an acclimation week, and it was really tough. It was getting on the field and really grinding, uh, t pushing your body to the limit every day and really keeping your head in it that you really can do this if you put your mind to it. All right, uh, I asked Carter Jacobs this. You went to the same high school. Uh, you were older than Torrance Gibson, but did, did you know of him when you were there? Or? Yeah, yeah, he was uh, He was there when I was there. He was a good guy, really good quarterback, really talented, really talented athlete, fast as all can be, can throw the ball very far. I think I've seen him throw the ball 70 yards before, and that was pretty impressive. And he's about as tall as you, or is he even taller? Yeah, he's, I, I don't know. He might be around the same height, yeah. a little taller, a little shorter. He might have you in a 40, though, huh? Oh, I think so. <laughs> Might be on his heels, but I think he got me. Yeah. Well, I mean, as it is though, the the, the quarterback you're working with now, does, does it seem like it's gelling a little bit better than than it had been? Oh uh, yeah. Uh, I think Coach Denbrock's done a great job so far, and the assistant with uh, Coach Hartline coming in too, of really uh, breaking down the plays, breaking down reads, uh, linebackers to read, safeties to read. And I think it's been big on that part. All right. One more. Did you get back to Florida for spring break? Oh yeah, I did. Went fishing. Yeah. Caught a caught a little lemon shark down there. It was nice. Yeah. You're, yeah. you're now. Outdoorsy. Yeah, a little, eh, a little bit. Yeah. Well, you might as well. Right. <laughs> Tyler Cogswell, out here in the pit. Yep.